if you find yourself somewhere where you're just in constant awe every time you step outside, that's probably a pretty good place to live. So my name is Adam Campbell. I'm a Canadian mountain runner and ultra runner living in Canmore, Alberta. The Great Trail, it's a really, really special thing in Canada. We, we live in this massive country. And the Great Trail basically links up the east coast to the west coast. And it's like this big vein that runs across the country. My favorite part of a trail right here is the stretch between Canmore and Banff. You get to go through the spectacular valley surrounded by beautiful peaks on either side. It's, it's a really, really special part of it. My name is Jillian Mandich, and I'm a happiness researcher. If you're going to study anything, why not study happiness? My area of research specialization is health promotion. And so within that, nature is highly correlated with happiness. For the variety of Canadians, the trail's within 15 minutes of where they live. The Great Trail runs right through the heart of downtown Toronto, all along the waterfront. That is such an opportunity to get out into nature, to boost our happiness, and to move. I live in North Vancouver in BC, Canada. I grew up in the east of England. Trail running is my number one focus of what I love doing in life. I love to get outside and appreciate nature. There's literally bits of the Great Trail that are like a couple of hundred meters away. The Great Trail means something different for everybody, but for me, it means this. It means exploring the mountains, the trees, the water. My name is Ricky Forbes. I am a professional storm chaser. My passion, first and foremost, is being in the great outdoors. Canada is so different from the majority of Europe. I decided to move to Canada for such massive mountains and like wide oceans and open spaces. When I was first here, like, you know, friendships weren't necessarily quite so permanent. I felt more British, like, where are you from? So on August 31st of 2016, uh, I was in Rogers Pass, British Columbia. And all of a sudden, I pulled on this rock and I felt the rock shift and instantly my stomach sank. I fell over 200 feet. I had broken my T8 to T11 vertebrae. I asked the doctor, am I paralyzed? Like, am I ever going to do anything again? And I, and I didn't believe that I would ever actually get back to the level that I, that I once was at. He's like, no, it might take time, and you know, we can't guarantee anything, but like, you're probably going to be able to make a pretty good recovery. And also, I was given this new body, and I had to start from scratch. Basically, I had to relearn how to walk. In my younger years, I traveled lots with my family. We did lots of outdoor adventures. Being able to turn that into a job is absolutely a dream come true. Every year, I spend more than six months a year on the road chasing down some of the wildest storms in Canada. The Great Trail is all across Canada. I'm out here mountain biking and rock climbing and all over Canada. It's incredible. That's one of the things I love about the Great Trail. Trail running is probably a huge reason why I like, even stayed in Canada. And so people within that community became friends. I've won Ultra Runner of the Year Award three times, the Trail Runner of the Year Award. People did start to identify me as like, where are you from? Oh, I'm Canadian, right? I, I knew that'd be a, a struggle for sure. I went through the full gamut of emotions. When I was in my hospital bed, I put my name down for a 100-mile race in Colorado, 10 months down the road. I really just want to get back out on the Great Trail. I decided to go into Banff, and you know, I progressed to getting back into walking outside. I do very much say that I became a runner in Canada. It was amazing to become a Canadian citizen. Definitely makes it feel more like home. It took me about three months after my accident until I started doing my first running steps. And so finally, you know, July 14th came, and I actually believe I'm, I, can, I can do this. It ended up taking me 33 hours. You know, when I crossed the finish line, you know, I felt joy. It was like I, I, I cried. I was back in the mountains, and that felt really profound. 
It was just amazing to finally get back out on the Great Trail. It was absolutely stunning in its own special way. My parents took me out as a kid all the time, spent my whole life growing up camping, hiking. It's just my happy place, basically. It's spectacular. It, it's beautiful, and you realize how magnificent our planet is when you spend time here. The, the sea, the fjords, the, the country, it's really exciting to know that you are on this, such a big, big path. I'm from Belgium. We don't have such things at home. <laughs> I think that the Great Trail promotes a sense of community because it really links us all together. And to know that the trail moves from one coast to the other, because we're on the same trail, we're connected.